and I'm Lana Kombacker, and like I said, I'm running for City Council, 3rd District. The, probably the biggest reason to, to vote for me is I'm for all people. We have African American, we have Hispanic, we have even a lot of Asian, Filipino people in my area, and all of them, we can relate to everybody. Everybody has their own issues and have their own customs. And I think everybody can work together. It's not just standing up for one nationality, you know, just saying, just because you're Spanish, we're gonna do everything for Spanish people. It's got to be for the whole area and everybody has to, to get the, the best from it and rewards from having it. Do you believe increasing access to affordable housing for families making less than $40,000 a year should be a part of the city's approach to economic development? I do. I believe that any help that we can give the families, if they're helping themselves, they need help from the city. Not just giving them free things, but helping them help themselves. So any kind of help that we can do for the city or for the people in the city would be great. We need more um, patrolling on the, you know, on, uh, on the evening hours, you know, on the p.m., you know, after night, after hours. What would you do if the police is present uh, in the area on the east part of town, in our part of town? Okay, that's a good question. I actually had, we had a neighborhood meeting last night and Officer Evans was there, Amanda Evans. And I was talking to her about trying to get a satellite uh, place for the police to come and sit in the neighborhood so the people will know them. I mean, they come, she's got, they're very short on police right now. So we're trying to get that worked out. But yeah, I'm trying to get more presence over on the east side so that we know that we have the people that we need. She's great, but she's the only one in the third district right now, so we need more. My question is for the candidates and felon reform. Is there any clear path back to redemption? Uh, there are several people in our community that have made mistakes in their life and have no clear pathway back to redemption. There's job openings that people are kind of overqualified for, but they can't get back to work because of a mistake that they made in their life. Yeah, um, I'm all for that. I actually have somebody in the family that's dealing with the same issue. Uh, a lot of places won't hire, fe hire felons, even though it's nonviolent, um, something that happened so a long time ago. So I think anything that can happen to get a group together or um, anything, we need to talk to the city about seeing what we can do. And mental health is a big thing too. So mental health, drug reform, helping felons get out there and work. The ones that want to, not just gonna go out there and, and not work, but that's what I'd like to do. What is the plan to get people back to work? The plan is stop giving unemployment for people that wanna stay home if they can work. I believe that, I believe in unemployment. I believe in helping the disabled. I believe in helping the mom with, single mom with kids, single grandparents with kids. But I think that we all need to take our responsibility and do the work. So if people want to work, I think they should be able to work. Now, I don't know. I know a lot of places are having trouble finding people, as my cousin that owns Specs Bar. She just doesn't have people that want to work. So I think it's going to take a little while after this COVID thing to get people feeling safe and secure to do it. I mean, anything that we can do to help the people, because it's all about the people, it's not about us. Whenever you say, well, I'm the head of this, it's, it's not gonna work. You gotta say the people are the head and you work your way up. But um, we need programs to help people get back to work. Um, there's a lot of street improvement that needs to be done. I wanted to know, what are you, what are you gonna do about that? <laughs> that's, that's one of my pet peeves. I was talking to Sylvia Ortiz last night at the meeting and We've talked a lot about it. I'm really excited about Deer Creek that they're actually working on it now, but we have a big problem with them closing everything at once and then not working on it all. In those areas that are not getting worked on, and I think it's priority. I know even on the west side, um, west central, they are not getting the work done that they need to get done. So I think, my, as I was explained to me, they get a lot of money all at once and then they have to put it out, start all the jobs, and then they can't finish them all at once. 
So I think if there's a way that we can do one at a time and people can let the city know, oh, there's an ombudsman now, which is great. He works under the city manager, or she, and it's new, so you can call her office and she can get you out to the people you need to see. So I think that would help a lot. We don't have any stores to shop over here. We have a Dollar Tree and a Dollar General. We don't have any grocery stores. How would you go about trying to see that we get more fresh vegetables in the neighborhood? That's one of the things I w wanted to run on is because we don't have stores. There's a lot of older people and a lot of people that can't get around, they don't want to take the bus to go shopping. We don't have anything on the Far East side. We have Casey's, like she said, Dollar General, Dollar Store. Um, if you go out farther on my district, it's a little bit different. They have some like uh, towards Walmart, that area like that. But we need things for the people that are in East Topeka. Um, I'm trying to talk to people to encourage them to come to East Topeka, but we need some motivation. We need some um, programs to people that want to come there. And it's a good community. People look at it and say they don't need anything. They're, you know, they're not rich people. No, uh -uh, we do. And they do. The people need the things that they need and medical care over there too, also. I'm Lana Kahnbacker. I'm running for um, city council in the third district of Topeka.